Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I will show you a second version of how to get better FPS in TF2. I released a part 1 or a version 1 in this video series that included a massive script you can copy and paste into your TF2 console command and basically from the comment section and the gurus and the advice I got from that first video this is kind of a revised different use of scripts that you could use to put into your TF2 that will improve your FPS without sacrificing some of the other visual improvements that you get. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So firstly, you'll have to use co uh, commands, console commands. So in TF2, you have console commands that can be used to change the way you experience the game, the way you bind keys, the way that you have FOVs and fields of views. You can, you can use it to bind keys to make you explode to suicide. You can use this to fine tune your TF2 experience as well as many other little details. First thing you'll have to do is make sure that you have access to the console command. So what you need to do is you need to go to the options section on the TF2 menu. Under options, click advanced and then make sure to enable developers console is ticked, needs to be ticked. And then you're clicking the key. I think it's called the tilde key, might be wrong on that. The guy commented saying that's what it's called, but I couldn't find any. Well, straightforward evidence saying that's what it's called, but I think it's called the tilde key. And between the tab and one, it's in the top left hand corner of most keyboards at least. Press that, that'll bring up the developer's console and you'll be able to edit it. I would recommend working in this. Rather, you could do it two ways. You can edit it first and then go into a game, or you can set up like a private lobby and then you can see how it affects it. Something worth noting as well is if you don't like something, play around with some of these settings because what you can do is zero means off. So you'll notice that things will be like Matt underscore anti-aliasing or anti-alias and then it will be space zero. Zero means it's been turned off. So th th it means that the setting has been turned off, it's not on, it's gone. If you want, uh, you know, if you upgrade a computer or something like that, you know, you get a new graphics card because... Fortunately, TF2 is a very low CPU usage game. It's mostly just a graphics card um, that you'd need to upgrade if, if you had a very entry-level computer. So maybe you get a better graphics card or you, you stop using internal graphics or something like that and you're on a graphics card. If you go through the settings and you start putting, you know, 1 instead of 0 or 0 instead of 1, turn things on and off, just play around with it depending on how, uh, how much FPS you are currently getting. So... Firstly, I have this massive list of scripts. You don't, you can go through it all and work out what it is if you really want to, but essentially it's all just, it's like shadow settings, it, there's, there's maximum FPS that should be turned off, uh, details, draw motion, force preloads, uh, lag composition, you just, yeah, it's, it's exposure ratings, loads of stuff in here, and it's all just little graphical stuff that I genuinely don't think you would notice if you turned it on and off. Like, if you take this and you put it in, you're probably not going to notice. Uh, it affects, like, the, the way that water looks and stuff like that. I mean, if you were to go and look, you would probably notice, but not that much. And th this is this is kind of the big one. This is great for people that have TF2, they run it on maybe an older laptop, and they're like, oh, it's just really, you know, it's really slow. I'm not getting many FPS, uh, FPS being frames per second. Um... I want more, I want it to run a little smoother, this will definitely take a lot of the workload off your computer. And um, yeah, the, there's a, there's another set of commands as well, here at the bottom that you can do. Uh, these will be separate, I'll put like a line for them in, the, in the, the description if you want to copy any of these in. So all you have to do with these commands is highlight them from my description and then copy, paste it into the console commands in TF2 and that will change all of your video settings. Again, if you want to change back, you would have to, I'll maybe go and start working through and put like a normal version so you can like take everything back, or I'll put the commands in the uh, description to put everything back to default. We then have a second set of commands here that I have, and uh, these disable glow effects and x-ray effects on players when you spawn. So when you spawn, you can see the outline of people, you know, running around on your team is great for finding spies and stuff like that. That's kind of my main issue with it. And it just kind of puts the outline around people. Um, my, my, um, you know, my computer handles it fine. Most people do, but a lot of people 
will you know probably start with turning stuff like this off so if you want to just like see if you want to tweak it a little bit then um copy this and put that in and then see if that helps and this this is just to turn off outlines of characters and x-ray mode and stuff like that and then the final bit of advice really that we were given from the last video other than turning all of this stuff off turning off all your x-rays and all of your graphic stuff down is matt fong so matt fong is probably one of the most well-known ones people use it's it's a, it's a graphic set and i won't go into the detail if you want if you want to find out what it is go and search up matt fong and the settings on it if you want to keep matt fong on or you've turned matt fong off so matt fong uh, matt underscore fong zero and you he's not noticed that much of a difference and you're still struggling to run the game try r underscore rim light zero and see if that makes a difference for you um that's advice that we got from uh, one of the subscribers checked it out i personally can't see much of an increase in fps because like i said my computer I, <laughs> anymore and i can't really tell so it's it's just a bit pointless for me but it's it was kind of advice you can leave matt fong one so it's on if you want and just try rim light instead if um turning it off has annoyed you or something like that uh worth noting as well some people we were talking about this in uh, reddit is in this big script at the very bottom of the script there's a section called violence and this will this will tweak um gibbs and exploded body parts and blood and gore and if you notice that like things are disappearing too quickly and you don't like that then i go and change those ones back or the, the violent underscore commands but for the most part you know if your computer is struggling to handle tf2 and you want to improve copy the big line of code that i've got in my description and then copy the second line of code and then try uh, matt fong and the rim light code that i have in the bottom put them into your console command and see if you get better fps out of it you, I, like i say you might not have the most you know top-notch visual quality of tf2 anymore it you know it won't be god tier anymore but you you'll have a better gaming experience you'll you'll enjoy the game more because the graphic well the, the gameplay will run smoother in general for you uh but apart from that i've been jay caliber i hope you have found this video quite helpful if you have any like graphic settings or anything like that that's you know worth mentioning then comment it down in the section below and i'll pin it or something like that if any of it's useful uh, if you need any help or guidance with this uh, comment down below if you need any further help consider joining my discord we're a very active discord crew uh check me out on twitch.tv forward slash jcaliber and this week's subscriber of the week is lost line so i'm assuming it's swedish or something like that thank you for subscribing to the channel i've been jcaliber adios